It is no secret that Mineplex has slowly been dropping in popularity and reputation since its glory days in 2015 and 2016. As you probably know, many videos have already been made on the topic. But in my opinion, they are not just incomplete, but in some cases outright wrong and misleading, clearly pushing a hidden agenda. It is also suspicious how many YouTubers claim to have done research and yet they ignore the actual problem that Mindplex is facing to this very day, just quietly sweeping under the rug the truth, which undoubtedly would result in less clicks and less subscribers and less attention. But all these things don't interest me. I have no incentive to lie or mislead you. I don't need to unnecessarily drag out the video for an algorithmic advantage. I'm here to tell you the truth about Mindplex. And the truth is simple and probably not what you're expecting. So without further ado, here is Mindplex's biggest problem. Kids. I've been with Mindplex since the very beginning, back when it was only a vanilla survival server. And back then, life was simple. Players were mature, and sure, even though there were many miners on the server, the exploitation was kept to a minimum, and the extracted resources were shared more or less equally amongst the server population. But it wasn't enough for the owners. When Mineplex grew, and started changing to a minigame server, kits were given to players, some of them free of charge. And it didn't take long for players to realize that all you had to do to choose the kit that should serve you during the game is give it a little smack in the waiting lobby. In some extreme cases you would even have to punch the kit multiple times to get the message across. And this has been especially prevalent if you are geographically situated a long distance away from the Mineplex server. But yeah, since these old days, Mineplex has been known mainly for the many kits. And it's one of the things that has set it apart from the other servers, for better or worse. But it's impossible to play a game that is not completely overrun by kits nowadays. And of course, a natural and understandable though admittedly very dark, consequence of the abundance of kids is that it attracts those people that abuse kids. And kid abuse is a huge problem on Mindplex. And for full transparency here, I say that it's an understandable consequence because, frankly, I myself have abused kids in the past as well. Should I have done it? Probably not. Did I have fun? Well, kind of. But look, we all make mistakes and I simply ask from you that you can forgive me. Anyway, with so many kits available for purchase at generally low prices, some of them even free as I mentioned, which is just outrageous, the problem that we face is straightforward. It's extremely easy for players to put their hands on a kit and abuse it. It takes almost no effort at all and the rewards you reap are limitless. And I understand that you paid for that kit, that it's yours, that you own it, you should have the right to do with it however you please. But honestly, in my personal opinion, it's wrong to abuse kits and exploit them for your own personal advantage. Just from a moral perspective. And that's precisely why I myself stopped abusing kids. For the most part. I admit that sometimes the temptation just grows too strong and I just can't help myself. I think though it's the regular perpetrators that we should be worried about. Not the casual one-off abusers. It's a category in which I would proudly place myself. And at this point, as an educated viewer, you may be calling out in frustration, but Rebel Guy, I have played games without kids ruining my experience. For example, what about UHC? You know, it's a fair question, and I think it's worthy of addressing here. You know, at first glance, 
It is true that there are no kids in UHC, and the less attentive of you may think of this as a fatal blow to the argument I've been making. But hold on, think about it. There are actually a lot of minors in UHC. In fact, the pre-PVP period, which is commonly abbreviated as PPVPP, is undeniably characterized by a sheer abundance of diggers and miners. And due to the short PPVPP, however, it is quite common for these miners to be overpowered by the more veteran players, which often leads to physical interactions, the details of which I'll spare you in this video. And so the power imbalance that we have seen in other games is just as prominent in UHC, and thus my argument remains as solid and impenetrable as ever. And you know what? The solution is surprisingly simple. Keep your hands off miners. Just give them some time and wait until they have reached the more mature stages of the game, when they are no longer helpless and can actually defend themselves. And the same goes for kids. Many players are busy unzipping their PVP, resource pack zip files, eager to experience the smooth visuals that their 64 by 64 textures promise them, only to then go ahead and take out their fishing rod, all whilst blatantly abusing kids. And some of the worst kid abusers are those that ground pound your furry friend, or shoot all across the map prematurely to the end of the game. And the end of the game is, in my humble opinion, the more appropriate time to shoot other players. Even worse is the barbarian, like a wild savage leaving you disorientated in an absolute mess of thick white matter only to be pounded immediately from behind, or the one that is smashing their hilt deep into your body, or the cowardly move of assassinating you from behind, usually while you are picking up items from the ground that you accidentally threw out of your inventory. Look, if you're still not convinced at this point, then I just don't know what to tell you. You're just a nagger, and everyone hates naggers. They are the worst group of people to deal with. And really, I've shown more than enough evidence that this situation is quite black and white. Unlike the sponsor of this video, Mindplex. Mindplex is home to a colorful community of players offering a huge selection of minigames each featuring an array of unique kits. Whatever your style of PvP, Mindplex can accommodate your needs and you will surely be impressed by the quality of gameplay. Prefer short range PvP? No problem, go for the Night Kit with its special Hilt Smash ability. Prefer long range PvP? Also no problem, just go for the Archer Kit and shoot at your enemies from afar. Prefer to confuse your opponent and throw them off balance? No problem, try the Brawler Kit with its special Ground Pound ability, or even the Barbarian Kit featuring a powerful Vortex ability. Prefer to backstab your enemies? Also, no problem, the Assassin Kit is your friend. Prefer to have a furry friend accompany you on your journey? Just become a Beastmaster. Or try the newest addition to the server, UHC, to give you a taste of the more traditional PvP experience. You'll need to craft a pickaxe and start your journey as a miner, mining all the diamonds you can find because you will need them. Other players are out to kill you, so be ready at all times. I myself have tried Mineplex and I have to honestly recommend it for the fantastic gaming experience it consistently provides me with. Thank you Mineplex for sponsoring this video. And that's it everyone. This is it. This is the truth. I really hope that Mindplex will address this problem and that we as a community will start to work together to put an end to this madness. I just see no world where behavior like this should be tolerated. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.